Hey, Space Lab, Michael from Vsauce here to answer your questions from last week. Addicted to Facts asked, what man-made object is the farthest from Earth? Well, the answer is Voyager 1, a probe that was sent away from Earth 34 years ago and it has been traveling away from us ever since. In fact, it is now more than 11 billion miles away from the sun. Now, I did a video on Vsauce a while back about what we put on that probe, just in case anything or anyone ever found it. You can go check that video out here. But on a related note, how far has a person ever been from Earth? The answer lies in Apollo 13. As they tried to get back to Earth, the Apollo 13 crew had to slingshot themselves around the moon using its gravity to get back home to Earth. And at the furthest point, they were nearly 250,000 miles away from Earth. No one has ever been that far away ever since. The Irish Shawnee asked a fantastic question. If you were to build a giant mirror and then fly it into outer space light years away, would you be able to take a giant telescope, aim it at the mirror, and see yourself in the past? In order to see something as small as the flag on the moon from Earth, you would need to have an optical telescope more than three miles in diameter. Now, that's implausibly huge, but let's just go ahead and imagine that we were able to make a telescope the size of the solar system. Okay, now, let's take a look at a mirror that's two light years away and try our best to resolve its picture. This is where we run into a problem. From light years away, Earth would appear incredibly dim. For instance, this photograph was taken by Voyager 1, and that dot, that's Earth. Now, of course, a mirror would reflect Earth with more resolution than this photograph, but the mirror would have to be incredibly huge. So would the optical telescope used to look at it. And I don't mean big as in as big as Earth. I don't even mean as big as Jupiter. I mean a telescope and a mirror almost as large as our entire solar system. Finally, this question received the most thumbs up. It comes from Knight of Wangernum, who asked, could Bear Grylls survive in space? Bear Grylls is a tough guy, but without a pressurized suit delivering the air that he needs, the pressure he needs to keep his bodily fluids from boiling, a suit that protects him from radiation and the cold, he wouldn't. But let's imagine that Bear Grylls would survive in space. While there, would he be able to drink his own urine? This is where things get interesting, because in space, there's a lack of air pressure, which means that liquids are gonna vaporize but it's also really, really cold, which means that liquid water or urine should turn into a solid. So what happens when you take a leak in space? Would it vaporize or turn into a solid? Well, it turns out it does both. That's right. When astronauts had to do urine dumps out of their vehicles while traveling, the urine would leave the ship and immediately vaporize, but then almost immediately, it would do what is called desublimate, which is when a gas turns directly into a solid, forming beautiful, reflective pea crystals. In other words, Bear Grylls would not be able to drink his own urine in space, but he might be able to eat it like a very delicate snow cone. Thanks for all of your questions. Leave more in the comments section of this video or as a video response, which I would love to see some of, and I will answer those next week. And remember, I pick two that I love a lot, and then I have to answer a third question that is the most thumbed up no matter what it is. So get commenting, put some video responses down there, and I'll see you next week. And as always, thanks for watching.